Hello everyone, it's Kathy here and today I'm going to share with you another tutorial and this time it's how to use a pom-pom maker to make these really nice fluffy pom-poms. This particular pom-pom maker is one that I purchased from Lincraft and it's really really quite inexpensive. This is what the packaging uh, looks like and these are the different sizes of the pom-pom makers that um, it comes with and there's four different sizes. For this particular pom-pom I used the pink one and there are two and I'm just showing you uh, what they look like just so you can get an idea of the size and um, what they look like in comparison with the one that I created. So there are two discs and they fold open and they're, they're secured in place with these latches and what you need to do is to line them up and have the latches open and then what you do is you wind your wool then once you've done that you secure them into place by securing the latches closed and then that creates a little groove you can cut the uh, wool apart and then release it and then you've got this really nice fluffy pom-pom so I'm going to show you how to create that so place your two open discs together making sure that the latches are open and just start winding once you start winding it becomes easier for you to hold the pom-pom maker and you just make sure that as you wind that you have a consistent tension in the way that you wind your wool and I wound my um, wool right up to that lip which you can see that is attached to the um, to that white latch and I kept going backwards and forwards until I felt that I had um, a really a nice thickness to make a really nice pom-pom um, so I kept winding backwards and forwards and once I um, had enough I just simply snipped my wool and then tucked the end of that wool into one of the strands so that it wouldn't unravel so you'll just see me doing that I just found a um, one of the last pieces that I used and um, tucked it in and then I just flipped it over and started that process once more so I just um, lined up my wool and started winding and once I got a thickness that looked the same as the the first half that's when I decided to stop, stop and just snipped my wool into place here I'm just cutting some wool because that's what's going to be used to secure my um, pom-pom into place so you just pull the clips down to secure the pom-pom maker pieces together those two discs and there's a bit of a groove because there's um, some lips some little bumps and that creates the groove and you need really really sharp scissors and you can see that with sharp scissors you have no problems in being able to snip the wool and from the way the pom-pom maker is designed those pieces hold firmly into place so you won't have any issues with losing any of those um, cut strands of wool so it's very easy for you to manipulate and move the pom-pom maker around as you snip away all of those folded pieces so I've nearly finished and so I'm getting um, myself ready now and what I'm going to do is get that piece of wool that I cut place it in that gap and securely tie a knot and what I'm going to also do is actually create a double knot just to make sure everything is really secure and having that um, gap already in the design makes this step really really easy so I'm doing my double knot and then just for extra peace of mind we're going to flip everything over and tie one more knot on the other side just to make sure all of the strands of wool are held securely into place by this wool and then once that's done I'll flip the pom-pom maker over flip open those latches and then carefully release the pom-pom sides to release it from the um, created pom-pom and you'll see that it's really really nice and fluffy it's nice and round I'm going to get my small scissors and just trim off any bits that aren't in um, you know that just the stragglers and there's not a lot of trimming because everything is really nice and round and that's all you need to do the uh, pom-pom maker is a really easy tool and it makes really nice pom-poms 
So thanks so much for stopping by and have a great day.